problems that we have today, right? Through addiction, they created it, right? So you got to ask yourself, would you want to go where Trudeau pointed to? Would you be able to trust Trudeau? Do you know what I mean? And the answer is no. Trudeau is not a leader of a nation that can be trusted with an army. Do you understand what I'm saying? Neither is Bidet. Bidet is, is not to be trusted. These people aren't, <clears throat> aren't thinkers. They're pawns in a much bigger game. So you want to make sure you don't end up a pawn to someone else you'll never know their name, right? And the best way to do that is to never never ever assimilate never you cannot fall into a robot like battalion that takes orders from one and the one higher up you know is is, is a drug smuggler you don't want to end up in these nations grasps all countries have an army except for iceland I think that's it. Iceland is the only country on earth with no army. The Vatican has a, a secret group of people, a hundred soldiers or three a hundred to three hundred soldiers, special forces, highly very dangerous. <clears throat> so and the Vatican is is a tiny little burp in a, a sandbox. How how do they have anything? Why? What is the Vatican scared of? Right? Like it, it's just weird, you know. But you can see these people who have security guards and all these these extra security details. Do you know why that? Do you know why they have it? Because they've done wrong, and they're worried of retaliation from all their evil and just acts. <clears throat> so the way to peaceful society for our children is not through military leadership or, or military uh, coups or military uh, takeovers of entire countries. This is not the way to peace. The way to peace is to strike down everybody's military, every nation's military at the same time. Not not hurt them, strike them down as in strike it down and, and redeploy them to farmers, redeploy them to engineers, to, you know, tractorsmen. Uh, right now, too, like right now. But you know what will happen, right? Once all these men and the strong men go back to their villages, right? When these evil leaders tell the people of those villages what to do next time the men will stand up and say no we're not we're not doing that that's just that sounds so stupid why would we shut down our whole city like we were told four years ago to shut down for two weeks and this will all be over that's what they told us this they dragged this on and they knew they were lying anybody who went along with that like that was in the those areas those are the devil they created the problems we have right now. They have knocked millions of homeowners out of homes and into low rental, low income housing. So, lest we forget. Rastafari. Where I come from, people are very unhappy with the turn of events over the last four and a half, four years. Very, very unhappy. I can tell you for a fact that people in Ontario, they're pissed. Just make sure you guys have your own little, you know, your community clubs or whatever. Go and hang out at a community club and talk to each other, you know. Don't make enemies out of each other. Oh. 
Love you all very much.